Hi everyone, and welcome to Cassidy's Craft Corner. In this video, I'm going to show you another book-themed project. The theme is Twilight. And this is what it looks like. What I wanted to do was add a girly look, but also the twilight look, of course, with the red in the background. And I got this picture off of online. I just searched twilight book cover clip art, and it came up with all pictures looking like this um, on the book. So I just cut it out. And I also cut this out as well uh, from the same picture. And the way I got the drip marks of red in the background is with this Distress Ink. It's called Barn Door. And what I did was I took the ink pad. It looks a little bit dark pink in the video actually but it's not it's like really bright red and I you know mush it all around the wax paper I know I say this all the time but make sure it's only wax paper because if you do it on a regular table it will ruin your table <laughs> and after that I took my water sprayer and I sprayed where the ink was and once I thought it was nice and wet I grabbed this dropper tool and I picked up some red took my tag and from the top I let the ink go and just drop wherever it landed so it kinda just did its own thing so and then sometimes I would go up high and drop a drop of red so it would splatter so to have that cool effect there and that's all I did so that's that part was really easy I just needed these three tools and then the hearts and the arrows the way I made that was with this paint it's Liquidux Basics, and this color is called Medium Magenta. As you can see, I have some red and pink on my hands from this and the ink. <laughs> and then I used this tiny sponge tool, and I put the stencil, which is this one with the uh, squiggly arrows and the hearts, and I just put them diagonally across because I thought that would look cool. And I just daubed with, I, I put some paint on the wax paper and daubed my sponge tool in it and just went over the stencil. So that's all I did for that. And if you're wondering what glue I used to glue down the hands holding the apple, I used Mod Podge. This is like a really good uh, glue because uh, it's just the best. And the way you use it is you, with this, I turned the picture over, put glue on the back, glued it on the tag, and then I sealed it by putting more Mod Podge on top. And the way, and the tools I used to do that were these three. This one, after I put the glue on the back of the picture and glued it on the tag, since it's just paper and it started like crinkling and stuff and uh, started bubbling up from the uh, glue on the background, sorry I can't speak, <laughs> and um, I kind of just scraped down so basically I was flattening the picture. And to seal the front, all I did was with this trowel looking tool, I scraped some Mod Podge on the top and I stuck my finger in it and I just put it all around the top of the picture. And then every once in a while I would use this paintbrush 
and smoothen the glue out on the top. So basically I used my fingers, a paintbrush, and some of these tools. And that was it for that. And then, as you can see, I added a girly look down here with some lace. And it's with this lace. I love lace. It's so pretty. And the way I glued that down was with tacky glue. And a tip, I did mention this in a, another video of mine, but you leave the glue bottle upside down. And every time you go to use it, it, the glue will always be at the top of the bottle and it will come out right away. So that's like the best tip for um, having glue bottles. And I don't do it with the Mod Podge because the Mod Podge is a big jar and it, I scoop it up with tools anyway. So it doesn't need to be upside down. And then I, as I said before, I took this word Twilight off of the same picture of the apple with the hands and everything from the book cover. And I cut it out. And I didn't glue it down. I took these stickers, which are, they make things look 3D. And I'll punch one out for you so you can see it. I'll punch a big one out for you. See? So both sides have this peel and stick uh, cover. So what you would do for your surface, like I did with Twilight, although I used two little ones, uh, I you would peel off one of the sides, stick it on the back of your surface. So let's say I wanted to glue this big tag on somewhere. I would put it there. And then I would peel off the top surface area of this sticker and stick it on wherever I want. And just to add more of a 3D look, I added two behind this twilight word, as you can see right there. And yeah, and then you can cut out with any scissors. I have nice sharp scissors. I don't have them right now, but um, it's really easy to cut with them. You just need really little scissors, actually, so that you have more control over cutting any paper or picture or whatever. And that's it. So this was very easy, although it was very fun because I loved dripping the ink with the dropper tool. It was very fun. <laughs> Oh, and I almost forgot, I dried everything, including the red ink and the arrows and the hearts with this paint, um, with a heat gun. The paint, you can't really see that well, but the pink paint, it's a little bit bubbled up because I, I wanted it to look that, that way to add some texture, and I like doing that. All you have to do is just leave the heat gun on there for a little while and it'll bubble up. But you don't want to leave it on too long because <laughs> that's not a very good thing. Something, uh, will, it'll burn the paper or something like that. So you don't want to do that. And so these were the two book theme tags for this month of September. And you can check this one out. It's in one of my videos. I'll mention the video of the Perks of Being a Wallflower tag in this video, of course. And that's it. So, thank you so much for watching. I love making these book theme tags. So, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you later.